Uh, here comes Mike. He's pulling this. What'd you call this thing, Mike? Uh, you call a tiller? A, a walk behind garden tractor. Oh, uh, well, you can put all kinds of uh, uh, implements on it, I guess you call yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, you can put things that move dirt and things that push dirt. Yeah, plows or whatever. Push it, pull it, whatever. Anyway, I picked this up uh, with a bunch of stuff I grabbed. Look how that works. To engage the belt, you yeah. slide the whole engine. Do it again, pretty Mike. Interesting. See that? Look at that. I've never seen anything like that before. Yeah. So it's anyway, it's got quite a reduction. You, the engine's got a reduction on it. What is that? An N, Mike? Uh, that's yeah. It's an N. It's an NPR six, so it's got a six to one gear reducer on it. And then you've got the reduction from the small pulley to this big pulley. Hmm. And then from this, I'm guessing this is chain driven in here. You got a small sprocket to a large sprocket, so it's quite the, quite the reduction here. There. All right, it may take some doing, but we say we try and get it running. I think we can. That way, uh, we can take it up to Jacktown or somewhere, and maybe somebody can use it. Somebody will want it, I think. I think so. All right. All right, what are we going to do first? The tank looked good. I guess we just blow that out. I didn't well, see much yeah. rust in there. I still didn't see a lot of rust. It's, I don't even know what this is. It's, it looks like a homemade cap or you something. You know what? I think it's had, like, body filler or something put around it. Cause I know, it's flat on the outside. Yeah, but it's got the... I don't know, it's strange. Yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, we'll probably take it off, shake some uh, nuts and bolts in there, get the loose rust out. It doesn't turn over all the way, so we might. this might be another candidate for a stuck valve, or hmm. maybe just something up in the, uh, underneath the housing here. I, I feel it hanging up maybe on the magneto. Okay. So we're gonna investigate maybe a dead that. mouse or something. Yeah, yeah, we'll take the head off. It looks like somebody, uh, Somebody took all the head bolts out, and they put, looks like, all thread for studs. Huh. I don't know. Somebody thought it was a hot rod or something. Uh, who knows? Um, and see what's going on. This is another interesting little thing. That's, I guess that's your fuel valve right there. I've never seen anything like that before either on a Briggs. See, it's got fuel line comes around. It's a little T-fitting. A little knob out here. It's interesting. It's got one of the carburetors we all know and love, and some kind of... Oh man, this is homemade. <laughs> a, home a homemade spring, the guy wrapped the... Well, it's, this this whole thing looks like it's homemade. The, the gland nut and the, the needle valve, I don't even know what the heck this huh. is. So we're going to investigate and find out. And that's, that's what we're going to do. All right. Well, let's get it running. I didn't say we got to get it running good. We just got to get it running. All right. Okay. All right. Looks like Mike's taking a carburetor off. Yeah, we're going to just assume it needs to come apart and be cleaned. And mm. uh, in order to get the shroud off, there was a little uh, screw hidden behind the uh, intake of the carburetor. So. Mike noticed it had an aluminum flywheel on it, which is strange. It is, and the, the nuts on the crankshaft end are doubled up, which is very strange as well. So Yeah, so, so this has definitely been hacked up before. Huh. Yeah. And I've been feeling the gas tank inside. There's been some body work done on it, so. That's a weird looking gasket here. We're, we're finding all kinds of little mysteries here. Look at this gasket. It's, huh. It's got a rectangular hole. Who, who would have thought that was going to work properly? <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's a mystery of uh, the past, I guess. Huh. It's very interesting. Yeah, you don't know. You don't know who's working on this. You know, it could have been a kid. could have been a farmer. Just trying to keep things going. Or... Yeah. Who knows? Yep. But the throttle moves all right. The governor seems to move. So. All right. Let's update you on this. This is a. This is like a real Frankenstein engine here. Mike it just is. discovered. We, we have the carburetor, and you remember the needle valve at the bottom. Where's those? Yeah, there were some parts here. There was a, a an aluminum square nut. This here, this little washer, and the spring. We're, uh, we're all fit on here. We took it apart. I, I took that nut off. That spring's gone. We don't need that. Um, I unthreaded that nut. I'm thinking, oh, okay, well, took the gland off here. And I'm like, okay, well, it's the original needle valve that must have broke off, and he threaded the end and put a nut on there. And then I'm looking at it closely, and, and Everett, you notice this. Looks like it was epoxied on there. And sure enough, I guess he put a blob of epoxy on here. And then just set the nut on the end of it. And what I did was I I just unthreaded the nut from the epoxy because it I could peel these threads right off of here. No, not really, but I can. Yeah, you already got half of them off. Yeah, they're just epoxy. So, and the carburetor's got some water in it, 
so we got to take that apart and figure out what's going on there. So we took the uh, shroud off next. The uh, shroud. Here's something. Here's something uh, interesting. First, show them the the, the vein. So the, uh, the the pneumatic governor vein here, it, it looks like it's homemade. It's plastic. It's it's kind of crudely cut out, and it looks like it's epoxied to the shaft here. So. But it looks like it's working. Yeah, I mean, it looks like it would do something. And then let me get around the other side here. Right. Stay where you're at, Mike. What what it looked like, Mike thinks is a, a regular lawnmower, probably a three and a half, Mike. Yeah, it's just your small lawnmower engine, whatever small frame engine they made. It, it looks like uh, it's still a points ignition coil, but it's a it's a light aluminum flywheel from a, from a lawnmower and a mo well more modern ignition coil. Because you can see it's it's only a, this is a two bolt coil here, and originally it should be a four bolt coil. Yeah. So, and that flywheel should be a cast iron. Right. It should be cast iron, uh, or the heavy heavy pop metal because you can see how it's relieved right here yeah see there's nothing right here let me mo mo rotate see there's the magnet but you see how it's relieved right here mm -hmm. and then you got the counterbalance right oh, here yeah, look at that so it's relieved on both sides um which i i don't know this must have been very difficult to start if you could get it started just because when you know as you pull it through if, if it if it you know fired a little bit early it would yank that right back out of your hand because you yeah. didn't have the inertia of the iron yeah, flywheel. Yeah, the flywheel gives you enough power to keep it going gives right. it the momentum yeah especially with a with a gear reduction box on it hmm. if it if it ran we don't, we don't know if it actually ran when, when you right with it. if the, whoever whoever put this modern modification yeah. on there we don't know if it ever ran it after he did it so yeah it looks like there's some looks like there's some uh, epoxy or silicone something in the head here oh yeah so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we'll find keep going. that next. Maybe this may be junk, but if it can run, we'll get it running. That's right. Even his head is uh, sort of hacked up a little bit because all these 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 are supposed to be bolts, and they actually turned them into what studs, Mike? Well, yeah, it looks like they see the weird. Another weird thing is, if I'm not mistaken, all of these engines, the head bolts are a are a coarse thread. They'd be like a five sixteenths, eighteen, and he's got. Looks like 5 16 24 studs here, but then he's got a 5 16 18 stud here. I, I really don't know. I, I, hmm. This is just the, the, the plot thickens, the yeah. mystery deepens, I guess. Where, yeah. uh, I can't wait to see you take that head off. Yeah, I'm curious. I might so, pop it open. Let's see if we can. Looks like it's epoxy down. Yeah, maybe he made a gasket out of epoxy. Huh. I don't want to pry too hard. It's a little head here. Try to wedge it a little bit. Oh, oh yeah, it's it moving. Yeah, it's it's stuck down there. The studs aren't helping matters. Get another, grab another screwdriver here. Work it from two sides. Did, I think he did. I think it, I bet you, I, from the looks of all the the pits, he wanted to raise compression for his race rotor. No, I think he just wanted to. Yeah, he, he, did. he didn't have a gasket. You see a gasket on there? No, no, I don't. I do not. No. no oh, gasket. and look, you can see where the valve was kissing the head right there. Oh yeah, look see at that. that. Yeah. Huh? Wow. Let me see that. Feel it. You, well, you feel it? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's no good. That's why you need to. Oh man. Yeah, right there. You can see it uh, right in the top of the valve there. Huh. Hmm. Well, that's a clearance of a, of a gasket. That's right. That's right. That's I, think I, have, I think I might have a gasket for this thing. Yeah, I'm sure you do. Wow. You know what? The cylinder wall looks good. A little, little juicy, but... Are the valves working, Mike? Mm. I see the one's working. Yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah, and those stuck valves. That, that noise, that noise is coming is, off of the... That's just the coil dragging on it. Yeah. Huh. 
Interesting. We should have checked for spark before we took all this garbage apart. Well, we can still be. Yeah, still, still do that. There you go. It's still connected. Interesting. Mike loves looking at this stuff. Yeah, just it's it's very interesting. That, well, we don't yeah. know what year it was built. The flywheel's missing. So. Well, the it does have the plate. I could tra I could trace that number. Yeah. Yeah. If that's the right plate. Right. Right. Well, let's uh. Let's clean things up and see what we can do with we it. We can still make it run. I think so. Uh, Mike is adjusting the, the points there, but uh, hold up, Mike. I think my dinner just showed up. Who is it? It's a little dirt bike. What's no. On? Yeah. You got my dinner? Nope. You better have it or you better get out of here. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, Mike adjusted the points and there's still no spark, so. Did I adjust them? No, I didn't. Well, you adjusted the coil. Oh, yeah, the coil. Yeah, I said points. I'm sorry. Oh, man. So now he's got to take the the flywheel off. It had a double nut on it. It had this and then the, the regular nut, so we don't know what's going on there. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to have to, uh, let me see. Where's that large screwdriver? Uh, Mike is taking the flywheel off now. Let's see what we got back there. Here's the key. Here's the key. Look like a new key. Too. Jesus. Well, what's with these epoxy? I don't, I don't know. What is this? It's like silicone on there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh Jay, Jesus. He siliconed it on there and it held all the moisture in. As you say, it didn't even do its job. No. Wow. Look at it. it. Made it worse. It's a mess. Look at that point. The point's oh, got man. stuff growing on it. What oh, is this? Oh, man. Stuff? Jesus. Ay, ay, ay. Who does this kind of stuff? Are you working on this? Yeah. Ah. All, All right. right. The epoxy, man. We got it. Yeah, that's, that's silicone, though. <laughs> All right. Let's, we got to clean this up. We got to do something with this. All right. Man, here are the points. The points are pretty, uh, pretty shot. There we go. See that? What the guy did was he sealed that, and the, whatever moisture got in stayed there, and it corroded everything. So I'm going to clean them up. We should we'll get them working. All right, Mike's putting the points back in. We check the capacitor. The capacitor's good. 20 microfibers. Mike, right, Mike? Yeah, yeah. I believe that should be uh, sufficient. That's it. Dead knots on, buddy. Okay. Yeah, once we get a spark, put this thing back together. It should uh, do something. Yeah, I think so. All right. We're taking this, oil, this flywheel off. This is that aluminum one. That was going to cause problems anyway. Throw it there and... We had this uh, 1948 flywheel sitting around. So Mike is, uh, as a matter of fact, even the coil. Mike took the coil off. Well, yeah, it turns out that that new coil, I mean, either that or I'm just a uh, you know, goofball here. Um, the Using that newer points coil uh, with the original flywheel yielded us no spark. When we had, we did have spark with that flywheel and the newer coil. Uh, the only problem was, I don't, you showed them the, the scratches in the back. Yeah. That uh, that flywheel doesn't have enough relief cut in it to clear these mounting screws here. And it looks like, you know, when when the previous owner reassembled this, he didn't realize that, and it's all scratched up. And even still, it's dragging. So, yeah. you know, if we had the, we have these parts, so we're just we could have left the cover it. off and the screws off, and but uh, we had the extra parts lying around, so right, Mike right. wanted to do it right. Right. Well, exactly. Yeah, there's, he, he took that old. Uh, so I just have to uh, the old coil off there. I'm gonna set the uh, flywheel on here and uh, set the gap of the coil, and then and then check for spark and see if we have spark uh, with an old coil and an old flywheel. All right. You know, let me look at the back of this one. This one was bottoming out. All right. Yeah, this has turned into a project. We just wanted to get it running and sell it, but. Uh, it has too many issues, and we can't sell something like that. So we'll take uh, take this carburetor part and clean it. 
I don't think it's much 2D's, maybe a couple of O-rings, so. I don't have a, a rebuild kit. I'll clean that later. Put my glasses on so I can see with you guys. Alright, let's pop the top. Yeah, Mike, uh, he, he changed the flywheel. He put the, the correct flywheel on there and the correct coil. And we're getting a spark, but it was a weak spark. And it might have been enough to get that thing started, but uh, we didn't like it. You know, even with the the old, uh, or the, the cruddy one that they had on there, you know, we we're getting a, a good quarter inch spark. So uh, we didn't like that. Right, he had to go home. So I'm going to, uh, I'll continue working on that. I see because sometimes sometimes I start working on stuff and I'm not looking at the camera okay when, when Mike took this off it had some water in it so I don't know what's gonna look like also here you got a jet down here let me show you what somebody did it's aluminum I'll try and get over here somebody uh threaded this and they put this square nut on here I guess that was to adjust it actually a pretty clever idea and they epoxied it but it didn't hold so I'm going to take this apart and uh, I think I, I can find a thumb screw to put on there so I'll, I'll actually thread a thumb screw put it on there and uh, maybe epoxy it on there pretty clever though I like, I like that somebody was thinking there all right, let's get back to this. Before I go any further, let me take all these out. This is probably O-ring in there. Actually, it's not jet. Okay, we got all that out. Got that out. Take this off. Oh, this is a lot easier to take off one if we take the top off. We can clean the stuff up on a wire wheel, make it look new. Yeah, I thought this was going to be a, a short video and everything, but this may turn into a, a couple part series on us. Some of you guys love them. This is the choke. I'll have to get some more screwdriver for that. Okay. Okay. Alright, here you go. try and save that gasket so let me get a razor blade because that's it's actually holding itself together hold on all right I think I was able to save that gasket I didn't pull it off so we can all look at it together the hell's holding this in okay huh actually the bowl the bowl looks pretty good that now this what was holding this in was this float all right it's gonna be I'm gonna have to take my time getting that off of there because that, that pin in there is frozen if you break these little studs you, you might as well throw the carburetor out all right let me see if I can uh, work that loose all right we lucked out here. I just tapped it a few times and it, uh, there we go. Look how easy it came out. All right, I spoke too soon. All right. That'll get this out of the way. That actually looks pretty good. That's your, uh, your, uh, your gas inlet there. All right, now this is just for my information here. So if I, if I mumble a little bit, it's just for me. All right. This gasket belly side goes down. 
Okay. And then here's that jet. That looks pretty good. Pretty tight. I might just leave that in there. Sometimes it's best to leave things alone. Right, what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to stick this in here for an hour. You're not supposed to, this looks like uh, pop metal or something, but you're not supposed to. Let me check it. Yeah, you're not supposed to leave this in uh, the cleaner for more than an hour or so. So uh, I'm going to stick that in here and stick all these other parts in there for about an hour and then we'll get back to you. Alright, go uh, have yourself a, a break or something. Alright, I took these off the tripod here. I cleaned this up, this, uh, this jet here. And the, the threads the threads are okay and everything, but the, the bottoms are all funky there. And that, uh, that meets up with a rubber washer. So I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and touch that up a little bit with the file, make it a little flatter. And then I took the sediment bowl off, and that has a a gasket there. But I think I can find an O-ring that will replace that. You see in the in the corner here, it's a little uh, buggered up right here. But uh, it does work. This this uh, fuel on off works. So I'm gonna clean that up, clean the sediment bowl up here a little bit, and clean it up, and then. Uh, this here will wire wheel all these little pieces and make that look decent. Like I say, it's in a restoration. It's just originally started out as uh, just get the thing running. All right. All right. Well, that stuff is uh, in the degreaser there, or whatever it is, a carb cleaner. This is what I'm going to do. This is that jet. Like, can you see that? What I did was I filed it down and cleaned up a, a little washer here. I'm going to stick the washer on there. And here's that thumb screw I was talking about. And I'm just going to epoxy it all together. I'm going to use that quick uh, quick epoxy stuff that uh, only takes about 15 minutes. And I got my uh, wax paper here so I can put it down because the back here is hollow. This was off a, a pole chain for a light lamp or something, but it, uh, it's going to work out nice. So uh, that's what I'm going to do. All right. Sit tight. All right. Let's mix this up here. Whenever you mix this stuff up, make sure you mix it all the way. Like I say, we only got about uh, 10 minutes. That should be plenty. I got my glasses there so I can see what we're doing. It looks like it's mixed up pretty good. Alright. Can you guys say I know I'm way back here? Let me lean forward a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna stick some on here. I'm gonna stick some inside this little washer here. Make sure everything is done. I'm going to stick the washer on here. Let that sit there for a second. And then I'm going to fill this in. It's a hole back here. Okay, I don't know if you can see it, it's coming out the top here. Okay, that's all good. Okay, now I put that on wax paper. And I'm actually going to put some on here. 
That way you know everything is covered. Doesn't matter if you get it on here because it's you can clean that all off on the wire wheel after it hardens. Just want to try and make it kind of straight. Doesn't have to be perfect, but kind of straight will be working. Looks good to me. I'm gonna set up. <clears throat> All right, yeah, this stuff cleaned up pretty good. I just gotta put it together. Be careful putting this in because uh, you got a little tube here. And you can see it, and that tube has to fit into a hole down here. Believe it or not, I think I got it. Now let me screw this top on up. I'll be right with you. Alright, just got it all back together here. And uh, it cleaned up pretty nice. Um, hopefully it doesn't leak. But uh, I'll be honest with you, it don't look too promising. But, like I say, all we want to do is get this running so uh, whoever buys it, they can play with it, do what they want, replace the carburetor or whatever, but, uh, oh well. Yeah, I was hoping to make this uh, just one one video, but uh, considering we ran so many problems out there with the spark, we still didn't fix that. This uh, is going to be more than one video, probably maybe two, so maybe tomorrow we'll mess with that. So we say enough of this. All right. See you tomorrow.